Hello everyone. So today I want to talk about uh, basically backlight or uh, setting up uh, brightness of your laptop's uh, display. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I faced some issues uh, while I was uh, configuring my ThinkPad T14. Yes, I have a ThinkPad T14 which will be my primary laptop uh, because uh, I am trying to do few things with X20 which is the one which is, which is something right, I'm using right now. I'm making this video on ThinkPad X220 but I was able to configure ThinkPad T14 which is something which I showed you I believe uh, in my previous video. Now good thing about Arch Linux is, Arch Linux is that uh, when you install Arch Linux uh, you of course get like a base system with nothing but terminal then on top of it you have to install DWM like in case you want to use suckless utilities like DWM, DMenu, SD terminal and uh, then rest of the things can be installed very quickly so you can actually use uh, maybe your own script or maybe if you have maintained a list of applications that you want to install every time you set up a new laptop like all the applications that you need and I have that list with me although my uh, I don't really have like uh, an installation script uh, it is a script but I still do it manually like it, it, it doesn't really take me like more than uh, uh, half an hour to configure my laptop or basically have my same configurations on a new laptop so I uh, so talking about the steps I first install Marshall Linux then I install all the packages then uh, the third thing that I do is I basically use uh, my dot file so I basically manage uh, nothing but git and by the way you should also do it if you search online like how to manage uh, your dot files you will learn about it and it's actually very convenient just uh, you know make your home folder your home directory as your uh, uh, bare git repository but don't use git command use maybe an alias to uh, co configure your own uh, alias whatever name you want to call it to run git but only on your home directory so there, there are few things that you need to do and it is very simple you can search online and that is my third step like I make sure that I have my dot files with me and fourth step is that I of course uh, uh, move my files so I use sync thing to sync my, my my main files and then I'm more or less up and running of course not each and every thing can be installed using pacman then of course I have to install it using either AUR or maybe using some other method so there are a few things that you still need to manually do it you can always script it but uh, I was never really able to find time to create my own installation script maybe I should but the thing is that you can actually have your own your own laptop up and running or your separate machine up and running with your exact same configurations uh, very very quickly so it is not very difficult to you know uh, move or migrate to a new machine if you have to now the main challenge I faced was I mean of course when you when you move to a different uh, machine you not each and everything will work uh, as it should be now ThinkPad X320 is probably like the most seamless or uh, when you set up something on ThinkPad X20 let us say you're installing Arch Linux most of the things will work as it is like all the buttons will work like for brightness no there is no brightness by the way uh, but yeah there is a bright uh, no there is a brightness button uh, which I hardly use and it works but you have to make some changes in your uh, DWM config.header file config.h and then you have to uh, make it again but m most of the things work straight away and then of course you can use uh, F -X -F -X HKD to configure your own shortcuts which again is nothing but your dot file as long as you have uh, SX S -X -S X HKD installed uh, and it's running because you can run some programs with your X in it um, RC file dot X in it RC file again nothing but your uh, dot file so so basically you can have like your own working setup very quickly now on my ThinkPad X not not X X two ninety but on my ThinkPad T T fourteen the brightness button and in fact uh, because there is no dedicated button like x20 i mean that is a great thing about x20 you have volume up volume down you have like dedicated buttons for doing these things for muting your mic 
for uh, muting uh, your speakers and few other things. And you also have this Think Vantage Blue button, which I have never really configured, but I, maybe I should. But the thing is that on your, on your, on your ThinkPad T14, you won't really get these dedicated buttons. You get the function, like function key buttons with like uh, dual purpose. And you can still find the keys. For example, if you go to uh, ThinkPad, uh, let us search for, let me show you the page. So if you search for ThinkPad T14, Gen 2, you don't have to use this uh, page. You can always uh, look for uh, the keys uh, if you want using uh, this command called XEV. So let me just show you the, not arc, arch. All right, so this is a page where you can learn about, let us say, T14, if you are using T14 with Arch Linux. And you can see all the buttons that you have. For example, for uh, brightness up and down, you have these buttons. And uh, I think some of these keys are same, if, I, if, I, if I'm not wrong, for X320 as well. But the thing is that for me, brightness was not really working. So I had to use uh, uh, basically this utility called light. And by the way, if you want to learn about backlight, you can actually search on this page or basically read this page on Arch Linux uh, wiki. And by the way, this is great about Arch Linux. They have, they, they have basically um, a really good documentation of uh, what things will work, what configurations you need to do, like really good documentation. And what I was interested in is to understand how I can use uh, maybe some some of these utilities because to change the brightness, you can use, uh, there, there are a few things you can use X by backlight. It may or may not work. It didn't really work for me because uh, I had to set a few things and I didn't, didn't, really, want, didn't really want to set up things uh, manually. Uh, but you can use this utility called light, which is actually nice. It works. But you have to use, uh, this command will only work if you use sudo in front of the command or if, because my user is part of the video group, but still I had to sudo it. And But but, but the good thing is that you can actually uh, change the permissions of the actual uh, light uh, executable. So I use this utility now on my T14 to change the brightness. And uh, of course, I don't really change it by running a command. I basically have these keys that are, of course, something that I can, of course, press, but using S X H K D, uh, I can uh, change the brightness. So this is what I was doing, and I thought I'll probably share with all of you in case you are trying to learn about backlight in general. I think this page is wonderful, but uh, I just wanted to share my you know my, my challenges and the process, and hopefully, hopefully it will help you. Hopefully it will give you some ideas, and uh, because I'm using a very new ThinkPad, ThinkPad ThinkPad T14 is still in. I mean, it is not really, if you go to the Lenovo's website, you can actually still find it uh, online uh, because it is new, right? So I'm a bit, I've never really used like, I mean, of course I've used like the latest laptops. For example, I use a X390, which is still, I believe, used. Uh, but if you look at uh, T14, they are still making it and selling it. And... Uh, the, 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 I mean, these machines are really good. By the way, for example, my configuration is uh, 16 GB with 512 uh, GB SSD. And uh, I'm not really sure about uh, the price. I'm just trying to check the price, how much uh, a new one will come if, if we have to, because this one with two, the, with 8 GB, but I don't know the difference, by the way. So you, you can always uh, go to the go to the Lino, go to the Lenovo website and uh, you can uh, learn about these things like different configurations. But of course, you know ThinkPads are known for uh, like I mean, people use ThinkPads because uh, even after like four years or five years, they are still really good, much better than uh, a new laptop. And uh, if you install Linux on it, then uh, you can do a lot of wonderful things because Linux really works well on ThinkPad ThinkPad laptops. At, as, at least the ones that I've used. I've used T400. Uh, I've used, of course, uh, X220. I've used uh, 390. I've used 330, T13. Three, three, no, not T13. X13, I've used, now, now I own T14 as well. I've used T70 as well. And I think I've also used T440, if I remember correctly. So I've used like a lot of laptops, a lot of ThinkPads. And in, to be honest, 
it, it's like for me thinkpads are like blackberry because uh, if you ever used blackberry in the past i don't really think you can uh, I, mean, i mean of course now we have to use android because blackberry doesn't really work and i i i i moved to android because i wanted to use nfc i also wanted to have like a better map experience because when you're driving you need your map to work really really nicely like almost real time and on blackberry i know it used to work but it was too difficult but think pads are different think pads can still be used like the old ones and to be honest this x20 is still i'm going to, i'm going i'm going to use it it may not be my primary machine but it will be there uh, i will be using it uh, a lot uh, the thing with me is that i don't really use uh, although i own like machines but usually i spend 99% of my time on just one primary machine and uh, i'm i'm not really a big fan of like working on multiple machines although i have to uh, because if, if i'm working for a client and they want me to work on their laptop so that i can connect to their vpn so that i can do things like work on excel sheet or create powerpoint mind uh, powerpoint slides then yes i do that but i don't like it i, I just want to use one machine and that is it uh, for doing most of my work and because it's a pain to you know move from one machine to another machine and especially managing your files although we have a lot of solutions but still it is it is a pain and i prefer to use just one one machine anyways that is life but i just wanted to share my experience today of using thinkpad t14 especially for brightness so for so i installed of course arch linux and uh, i reformatted everything and uh, there is no windows no trace of windows i don't i don't i don't do dual boot i stopped doing dual boot many 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 years ago i don't like it uh, because uh, I, I use Windows or I use Mac only if I have to, if I have no other option. But uh, for me, when I installed Linux on this, Arch Linux, it was perfect. Everything worked um, as it should be. All right, that is it. Hopefully, I've given you some ideas, some motivation. If you're thinking of buying ThinkPad T14, I think you can. Uh, of course, I'm yet to explore it. It is, of course, uh, not small like my X220, but it is not massively big. it is still light it is uh, definitely thin so it will sit nicely in my lap in, in my bag in my backpack but because it is like the 10th generation 10th generation yeah 10th generation uh, uh, i5 processor so i am hoping to use it for few years if not 10 years uh, from now and uh, i'm 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 happy i'm happy with this purchase and because i i only spent 300 something pounds it is like a steel right uh, so I, i was lucky i was i was able to get this laptop for really cheap so if you are able to find a good deal then yes go for t14 otherwise i think t480 is still good t480 comes with 8 gen processors and they are not really uh, expensive all right that is it bye bye